in the 80s, the latter part of the 70s and the 80s, the early 80s, um, and until and now, Colombia has been uh, completely involved with a different elements that cause uh, just an unrest in the country, but it was a preamble to uh, the revival that was coming. Ramon had an evangelistic crusade. It was in the open air, and it was um, in that area. There were no churches big enough for a couple thousand people at that time in Colombia. And so he was out in the open air, and he was preaching one night about David and Goliath. And all of a sudden, this man came right up about a foot away from him and started shooting at him. And the bullets would go right through Ramon's hair. And the guy loaded his gun up again and started shooting, emptied his, his, all his ammunition, and he was so frustrated. So he ran home and, uh, to get more ammunition. And when he did, his child fell in the floor and he had to rush him to the hospital. So he had to forget about Ramon. And uh, the next day he came back to the place and there was a man taking down all of the lights and taking down the platform that they had put up temporarily for this, these meetings that Ramon was having. And uh, the man came running and he said, where is that guy that was uh, speaking last night? And the man, just one man was down there doing all of taking things down. And he said, well, he's gone home now. And he said, can I help you? And he said, well, I'm the man that was trying to kill him last night. I know how to kill people. And I couldn't kill this man. And I just want the Jesus he was talking about. And this guy who was taking all the things down, he said, well, that's fine. I can tell you how to receive Jesus. And he led him to the Lord.